The San Diego Central Library downtown, a laser cutter carves a pre-programmed shape out of a scrap piece of wood. This is the device a pair of sailors credit for making their idea real. Matt Semple and Andy Camp were surface warfare officers on the USS Jason Dunham, a guided missile destroyer. Semple says it was difficult sharing a stateroom with their different watch schedules. I remember I'd be asleep, I'd wake up to Andy literally banging uh, on the sink to try to get his, his razor clean. Sailors are required to shave every day. It's something Camp says they're indoctrinated with from the first days of training and therefore is something they think a lot about. He started thinking about just how annoying that was. So it was really being on a ship highlighting uh, the issues with shaving. Because everything about shaving is worse on a ship, right? The bathroom's tinier, the water pressure's worse, uh, the lighting's worse, whatever. The pair had an idea. What if razor cartridges could be cleaned without banging them on a sink? Camp began sketching designs, and what emerged was an early version of the razor rinser. It's a small plastic device that pushes water through disposable razor cartridges, keeping the blades fresh and the hair out of sinks. I think by the time we left that deployment, we had the general shape of it, which is basically just a pump that sprays water through your razor blade and then recycles it through filters. The pair separately transferred to San Diego units, and the first thing Camp did was look for maker spaces. I was shocked to see that the predominant one in San Diego is at the Central Library and it's also free. That's the Idea Lab on the fourth floor of the downtown library. We have a die cut machine, uh, we have sewing machines, embroidery machines, uh, sergers, uh, dye sublimation. We have a small CNC machine. Catherine Hong is the public technology services librarian at the San Diego Public Library. She's showing me around the lab. It has equipment anyone might need to bring an idea to life, and the library staff can show anyone how to use it. So uh, when somebody comes in with an idea, you know, we have them sit down, sketch it out on paper, kind of have them talk it through. And so we take them around and kind of um, get the get the ball rolling, you know, get them thinking. Semple says the library also played a part patenting their invention. Hung connected them with Sarah Hendy Jackson, who runs the Patent and Trademark Resource Center. What I do is I teach people about patents and trademarks, what the difference is, um, and how to pursue one. Part of her job is to help people navigate the trademark process, which can be daunting. But she says anyone can do it, even if they're strapped for cash. That's my favorite um, part about this whole thing. It's entirely free. After a lot of trial and error, Camp demonstrates their invention. So when you push down, the water gets accelerated through the slots and through your razor blade. This shape, because of the gasket around the outside, forces water between the blades so it actually flushes the hair and gunk out. Both sailors have just separated from the Navy. The pair hoped to raise $10,000 in startup funds on Kickstarter. When their campaign ended last month, they'd raised almost 70000 from more than 1,300 backers. We ended up just getting really lucky being in San Diego where we could come into a space like this uh, to where we could actually take that idea and start trying to, you know, create an actual physical product. The Idea Lab isn't just for inventors. There's tools to help people convert analog media to digital. You can convert slides, negatives, and photos, high 8, DV8, Super 8, 8 millimeter. Hong says the staff is always there to help. For sure, we're the library, you know, we're a fountain of knowledge. Andy Jackson hopes Camp and Simple Story helps other San Diego inventors. To be able to say, Matt and Andy did it, this is how they did it, these are the steps that they did, and you can do it too, and you can do it here for free, that's really just incredible. Andrew Dyer, KPBS News.